This is Twit. If people decide to skip uh, the annular, or let's say they see it and they're like, I need more. Uh, where do you think the April uh, 2024 eclipse is going to rate in terms of how great of an event it would be based on the eclipses that you've seen? So. Oh, well, it'll be a bucket list event uh, for, for most anyone. Uh, for the ones that I have seen, they're like snowflakes, no two eclipses are alike. Uh, depending upon atmospheric conditions and depending upon the overall size of the shadow as it moves in and over you, whatever. I mean, I've seen some eclipses where two or three minutes before totality, it looked like a tidal wave of darkness approaching uh, from the direction of the shadow. Other eclipses, I haven't seen that effect. Instead, it simply looked like, uh, as I said before, uh, somebody turning down a rheostat or a dimmer switch, and it just got dim and darker and darker over, over time. And then after totality, it just brightens up again. But regardless of how it all looks, um, and be it you see totality for either five seconds or 10 seconds or five minutes, it's still going to be an amazing sight. And by the way, e even if you're in a place where the totality lasts like four and a half minutes, which will be the maximum for this one coming up in 2024, all total eclipses that you see last eight seconds. Because <laughs> in, your mind, in your mind, it's like, it's over already? It's a, that that well, wasn't four minutes. It was incredible. You know, it's it's just an unbelievable event. I, I, I hope everybody takes advantage and sees it because the next chance here in the contiguous United States to see a total solar eclipse will not come until 2044. Oh, so man. that's 20 years from now. So, and you, know. and you, you just said something like a minute ago that you, you watched an eclipse from the air. We've been talking about watching all these eclipses from the ground, but you can get on a plane and watch an eclipse that way too. That's an option people yeah, should I've, think about. I've, I've, I'm, I'm so crazy about eclipses that I've actually coerced two major airlines to change their itinerary. Um, in uh, 1990, there was one over the middle of the Pacific Ocean. And uh, I went to an airline that doesn't exist anymore, American Trans Air. And I said, you know, if you delay the flight for about 40 minutes out of Hawaii en route to San Francisco, we'll be able to see a total eclipse of the sun on the way back to San Francisco. And they went for it. They actually <laughs> did delay the flight for about 40 minutes. And then again, uh, if more recently in 2016 with Alaska Airlines, I told them again, uh, you delay the flight for about a half an hour, your normal commercial flight from Anchorage, Alaska to Honolulu, you will encounter a total eclipse of the sun. And that really worked for Alaska Airlines because <laughs> when they made uh, it clear that they were going to do that uh, a few days in advance, all kinds of news media started uh, gravitating toward them. They even had um, 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 ABC News come on board. Actually, the funny thing with ABC News, they went to Alaska Airlines and they said, we'd like to be on board that flight so that we can cover it and, and, and uh, you know, do it on the uh, World News Tonight. And Alaska Airlines said, oh, darn it, the flight is totally booked and they said they said oh all right well thanks a lot no 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 wait wait we can get a bigger plane and they got a bigger plane to accommodate abc news and uh, they covered it so uh, the, the, these are the crazy things that i've done in uh, in getting uh, views of total eclipses is actually having airline flights i didn't exactly hijack the, the airline but uh, i did have them change their itinerary so that we all were able to look out and enjoy a total eclipse of the sun Rod, we should get our pilot's oh. licenses so we can do it. Oh, God, no, let's not add that to the itinerary. <laughs> Plus, you and me with our ADD. <laughs> hey, I'm flying the plane. Oh, look, a birdie. Wham. Tech Break is brought to you by our friends at IT Pro TV, now called ACI Learning. ACI's newest product, Insights, assists in closing lucrative skill gaps so your team won't fall behind. Empower your team, outmaneuver threats, and gain essential insight into your business. Visit go.acilearning.com slash twit today. Twit listeners can receive up to 65% off an IT Pro enterprise solution plan. The discount is based on the size of your team when you fill out their form. 